Welcome everyone to the War Thunder game, my name is Iron Rifle and in today's video we will talk about few things. Uh, starting off, my attention was pointed out to the fact that the uh, you are unable to destroy the pillboxes with the 500 pound bombs. Well, the thing is, uh, they divided the pillboxes into two separate groups. One group is just the pillbox. The second group is the light pillbox. So, the light pillboxes, uh, you can find them in the mid-tier, mid-lowish tier uh, battles. And I did flew one uh, today's morning and um, I did find out that I only need a 500 pound bomb to destroy it. And this I can confirm. For the pillbox you will still need 1000 pound bomb. It won't be something like, uh, okay let me drop two 500 pound bombs and I will destroy it definitely. That's not the case because uh, you will need two direct hits onto the pillbox. Two straight direct hits on the pillbox. And that is not going to happen. Even in the dive, even in the... Uh, well, let's say you're flying at 2000 uh, meters altitude and you are perfectly zoom in and you press the space bar right on top of the target. Those bombs, well, one of those bombs w might hit the, the pillbox directly, but the other uh, won't. So I would, w what I would recommend for, for all those, those of you that are flying the bombers that only can carry the 500 pound bomb, just to be safe, go with four of those 500 pound bombs. I know that's much, but in the current state of the game, the current changes to the game, I would say it's the best uh, the best way to, to do it. So the pillbox, you definitely need a 1000 pound bomb, one of it, or just to be sure, four 500 pound bombs, three or four. I do need to test that in the in the battles with wherever you need uh, three of them, it will be enough to destroy it. Because it's very hard to find, uh, well, intact pillbox in the in the arcade battles. Because someone always is shooting at it, someone always dropping some bombs on it, so it's very hard to find the untouched pillbox. Uh, next thing we will be talking about is, uh, well, let's say the setups, the lineups you go with the to the battles. So let's say you just start playing the game and you only have your reserve aircrafts. You will get three to four of those reserve aircrafts. aircrafts. Three for American, for Germany four, the Henkels, four Henkels here, for Russian the I-15s, for the British you get two Furies and two Nimrods, so that's four in total. And for Japanese, you get you get also four aircrafts. Well, I might say that the uh, you might say that the Americans, well, okay, they only get three reserve aircrafts. But always remember about one thing: you can always put into this uh, to pair this reserve aircrafts with these tier zero aircrafts, which are available to you just from the start so what i do recommend you for you is as soon as you can buy those two additional slots that are for the for the lions for the normal credits put as much aircrafts up to tier one as you can because of the matchmaker uh, matchmaker is working now like if you are in the tier reserve tier one you will be only match up against the same uh, same people so you won't see anything f up from tier 2 there will be no of it in the game so keep that in mind today I will be focusing on the American tech line so 
starting the game you get the the Americans you get some initial credits for flying the uh, the tutorial mission and I do recommend to buy w ad at least one additional crew slot and put the Kingfisher in it at least one remember longer in the game better for you but then after a few games you hit level 1, level 2, level 3, level 10 but let's say you just hit level 2 and as you can see on level 2 you get the second version of the buffalo and you might think okay that's something I want to go for well think twice about it because whenever you put a, an aircraft of a tier 2 and higher into your pre-battle lineup so that means here if at whatever time you put a tier 2 aircraft into this lineup you can be match up with much higher tiers well up to tier 4 or 5 I believe it's the 4 I seen recently uh, the highest tier but that depends solely on the amount of players that are playing right now so as you can see on the EU server there are close to 3000 players right now so you have the fair chance of getting uh, well the fair matchmaker the one that you won't be uh, won't be facing megs or some other high tier uh, high tier uh, aircrafts but when you do change it to any available so that means European and Russian servers as you can see there are much more players it's close to 8000 players right now so try to always think ahead if you do put a tier 2 into your lineup you will be facing some higher tiers so there might be a situation when they will have you for like they will just shot you once and you will be down in the reserve and you don't have any aircrafts to uh, to go to go with them to be able to be a help to your team so that's why at this moment of the game and at this moment of the well at this patch that we are currently playing what I do suggest you do is after you hit uh, tier 2 and up the rank 2 and up in your in your country air force in the US Air Force don't go and put the uh, buffalo into your lineup straight away wait for it until you get to level 4 4 or maybe even uh, 5 you might say well iron uh, what the hell why do I have to wait so long well as the matchmaker, matchmaker is constructed right now you see those brackets in here and those brackets are 0 to 4 5 to 10 11 to 20 and the matchmaker is uh, set up to match people on the same level of aircrafts but if he cannot find it he will be uh, forcing you to some higher tier games so there is a possibility that you will be facing uh, in your le well let's say tier uh, 3 aircraft you will be facing someone flying tier 10 and that's never a good option for you so that's why I do recommend you to stick with the uh, reserve and tier 0 or tier 1 aircraft so you have those free reserve those P shooters you have those Kingfishers so that's already a 5 aircraft but well let's say the Kingfisher isn't the most brilliant aircraft to fly out of there so after some time when we get to the level 1 exchange it to the Buffalo and go with the lineup of three pea shooters, one kingfisher, and one buffalo. That would be your your lineup for uh, for the moment. After you hit, uh, and you will start getting uh, good matches. You will be able to perform well in those aircrafts whenever you get to know them, their weaknesses, their strength and the experience and credits will go very fast for you especially w for the lower tiers you are not forced to, well you won't be spending too much time in them 
So after you hit the level 5, or tier 5, or tier 4, at the tier 4 you have the access to some, uh, well, let's say great aircrafts out there. Well, first of it is the Kitty Hawk, the P-40E-1 Kitty Hawk. In my opinion, that's the one of the best American uh, American fighters out there. Whenever you get to know this aircraft, you will love it. You will just simply love it. But despite of the Kitty Hawk here, you will be able to get into those Catalinas, those two versions of it. But remember, the first version, the DBY-5 Catalina, don't have wheels. So you won't be able to cap any airfields, you won't be able to land on the ground. Uh, not even with the emergency landing, or the crash landing. So remember about that. That's the flying boat. With the other Catalina, you get the wheels. So you can... Uh, so you can land on the airfields, you can r land on the on the ground, and that's uh, that's always a good thing. But despite of those two great bombers, and with them you get those 1,000 pound bombs, or four or 500 pound bombs, which is uh, which is good, which is always an option for you, and it's always a good option for you. But those 1,000 pound bombs will make your day uh, in the in the battles. And remember, with the preferable uh, matchmaker, you will be paired paired only with tier four aircrafts. So, in that lineup, you will have the Kitty Hawk, the Dauntless, also a very good aircraft, as you can see with the standard equipment available to them it, it can carry one 1000 pound bomb and two 100 pound bomb well those are just the hand grenades as I do like to call them but this thing here it's something to go for 1000 pound bomb so your lineup now consists of at the tier 4 Dauntless P40 and two Catalinas, so that's four aircraft. So you still have two slots, well, present for you there, and you will be wondering, well, what I can put there? Well, I do recommend you stay with the tier two Buffalo, because it won't be as low tier as the uh, as the reserve between the reserve, the tier zero, and the tier four. Well, four tiers difference armament, speed and uh, everything else is in favor of the tier 4. So with those four you can go with the buffalo at tier 2 and the buffalo at tier 1. Well if you do like to spend some uh, golden eagles uh, you can go with the premium uh, high the Japanese uh, capture aircraft. It's a very good plane uh, I do like it very much too. And you can exchange it with one of the, well, tier 1 Buffalo at this stage. So at the tier 4, you will have the pretty solid lineup consisting of the one very good fighter, maybe second one. It's uh, The Buffalo is also very good. So you will have two fighters. Two very good bombers. One, uh, one. Well, Dantless is the is the dive bomber, but it's classified as a bomber. So let well, let's say two long range bombers, one dive bomber, and some buffaloes as the well, you're reserved in the in the in the case you were shot down with all of those rest of these aircrafts. With that lineup, you should be able to start getting some bigger, uh, uh, bigger rewards, both in the credits and the experience, and with it will allow you to go above those, uh, well, to level up faster in your in your in your country air force. Then, as you can see, the next bracket is up to tier ten, but I won't. Uh, I will say wait till you are 
on the well tier six so after you hit level four there will be a some well a bit of a stop for you uh, until you hit level six in the american tech line at that stage you will unlock the air cobras two of them they are both at tier six at tier 5 you will get the amazing havoc but don't put it straight away into the into your lineup because you will then be facing aircrafts up to tier 10 and if you don't feel strong enough uh, to fight them with your kitty hawk or the dauntless or the <laughs> your buffaloes here well, keep that in mind that you will be facing aircrafts like the BFs, all the series here. You will be facing uh, the Legs, the Axe, from the British, the Spitfires, all of those. And of course the Japanese up to tier 10 which is the reasons and uh, yeah all the variants of it so keep that in mind whenever you will put the the havoc into your lineup you will be facing up to tier 10 so that's why i do recommend to wait until you hit level 6 and then at the tier 6 you will have some pretty sweet options well starting off air cobras two of them Havoc, great bomber, great, well, it's attack, but it, I will call it a bomber. Uh, the Wildcat, the one version of it, and the Hellcat, both of which are the great aircrafts to fly. Also, you will get the Avenger. Well, I must say the Avenger, the difference between Dauntless and Avenger is uh, one gunner because uh, the Avenger get two gunners but the performance, the overall performance well, I did like the Avenger way better than I did like uh, the Dauntless but that's only my opinion don't take my word for it it's uh, how do I fly, how, m how I perform in the air I did like the Avenger better I don't know why ju it just happened so for your tier 6 lineup Two Air Cobras, Havoc, that's three, Wildcat, that's four, Hellcat, that's five, and the Avenger, that's six. Well, at this, uh, this stage, you can also uh, try to go with the Catalina as the exchange of, well, Maybe the Avenger, maybe the uh, the Wildcat, depending on your playstyle. If you do like to to bomb things, go for it. But also remember that well, you can still keep those aircrafts, keep leveling your crews into the well, let's say more strict bombers that you can see here, the long range, the B-17s. But that's a tier six. Uh, lineup I do propose to you. Two Air Cobras, Havoc, Wildcat, Hellcat and the Avenger. Each one of them can be exchanged for the Catalina if you if you are for the bombing. That's fine. Well the next step for you will be well let's say at this stage at the whenever you hit tier tier six in your country air force it doesn't really matter that much what type of aircrafts you will be setting up for your for your lineup because the next bracket you will get into is from tier 11 to 20 and what does it mean well you whenever you discover the thunderbolt at tier 9 or both uh, well three of the version of the king cobras you can put them into your lineup and you will be fine with it. You will still be facing up to tier 
up to tier 10 aircrafts. Well, if you do put 11, you will be into the higher bracket. So, uh, well, the last King Cobra is, uh, is out of the question. But the Lightning, you will still get it. You will get two versions of Corsair. Well, in my opinion, only the last one is, uh, is good because of the four 20mm Hispano cannons. But I did find myself into flying those two versions of Corsair and doing pretty well in it. So that only depends, uh, depends on you. So that's for the American lineup. And my propositions to you on the well setup for now. And what you should do for now. Remember, that's only one guy's opinion. So, we did talk about the US Air Force, the lineups for the US Air Force, we did talk about the pairing. Now let's talk about the subject at, well, almost every pilot have to face. Silver Lions. How to uh, officially get them, how to acquire them as fast as I can to buy all of those new aircrafts and don't spend time grinding and uh, doing stuff like that. Well, keep that in mind that whenever you research the aircraft and you order it, it will be present here. Keep that in mind. Now, the thing is, with your crew, with your ground service, you get the repair rank. As you can see here, repairing my Avenger, the tier 5 aircraft, will only take me 41 minutes. And the 41 minutes is for the repairing this aircraft for free. So I won't be taking any more cost to it. I won't be... Uh, well, that's the thing to go, in my opinion. Untake the automatic repairs. And whenever you get yourself into the game, try to land your aircraft. If you do see that your engine died uh, and you are too far away from the, from the airfield, land anywhere on the field. As long as you are not destroyed, you won't be taking too much time to repair your aircraft for free. Well, if, you, if there is some, uh, well, let's say, uh, lag-free, with the 37mm 30, uh, cannon on your tail and he just blow you up well, I would say you will pay a big uh, big repair price at the end of the battle but if you untake it and you do take some uh, some points into the repair rank and the repair speed you will get this aircraft repaired for free as then as you can see for the tier 5s and tier 4s it's not that much of time as you can see here i do only have 17 points put it in well the 50 from the qualification but it will be close to two hours saying that the one game will take you roughly 20 minutes if it's the ground strike or close to 20 minutes if it's the domination map and the teams are well balanced that only mean uh, three games for one hour so my P40 will be repaired in what six games six other games so remember about that I'm checking that box automatic repairs will get you money as you can see here I did get into the ground strike my aircrafts were damaged the Kitty Hawk in 64% uh, the High in 65 and the Wildcat in 75% and the and I didn't uh, get the automatic repair on so all that money I earned so the 40,000 uh, lions go straight to my pocket. So, and what can you do? Well, the next question you might ask is, uh, well, what can I do with the damaged aircraft in my lineup? 
well as you can see I do have the lineup here well let's change the screening uh, the Cobra here for something lower well, let's go with the Wildcat and uh, let's say okay that's my maximum lineup for the for the games and I did get destroyed the P40 the Hyene well everything is destroyed you also get the option to exchange your aircraft you can go down tier to well, Catalinas, the Buffaloes or your reserve aircrafts and fly two or three missions just for free with the with the repair set on the well the automatic repair to turn off fly a couple of missions into a different aircraft different uh, lower tier aircraft or higher tier aircraft depending if you have any higher tiers if they are still don't repair go for some other nations remember there are five other nations present in the game <coughs> sorry uh, so remember about that whenever you do like to earn money as you can see here I'm uh, on a 67,000 uh, lions just because I did recently bought the uh, this BF BF 109 series, and that cost me a pretty penny. So, so yeah, I I am broke right now, but I will get get my money back by flying the mid tiers. And also remember about that: whenever you flying, try to get a good game try to push yourself to get a good game good score don't be like the guys that are uh, starting the game by destroying the well someone from your team or avoid friendly fire because you will pay the hell of the repair bill for that guy so guys that would be it for today there's uh, one more thing the mission I will try to get my best uh, my best performance into into some missions. So, let's get ourselves into the mission. I'll pause the video here, not to bore you too much with the load screen and waiting time on the on my on my end. So, let's see you all into the game. Okay, so we did get ourselves into the Ground Strike Africa Canyon mission. So let's see how well or how bad I will do in that game. With my mid tier American lineup. Okay, we loaded into the game, so let's go for the Kedehawk. Yeah. Ammo, fuel ammo for 10 minutes. And let's go. Okay, let's get some altitude first. So I will try to hunt the enemy bombers. With the Kitty Hawk, it's, uh, it's very easy. Okay, what's going on? Why our view fighter shot down the Spitfire? Okay, that's that's interesting start of the game. He just might miss the point. You're supposed to kill enemy aircrafts, not your own. I know it's easier in the beginning of the game, but hey, don't do it, kids. And the guy from our team left. Well, I don't blame him. That was probably his best aircraft. And he was pissed, so yeah. <coughs> okay. Blend him far away there are also few targets here the view fighter mc tier 2 okay i don't think they are going for me okay, now let's hide in this in the clouds i do have still a rough idea where the enemy is so i will go after him scoring couple of hits can i kill him Pushing my gear, I damage his fuel tank, and he's down. Okay, so my first kill here. Okay, Dunk was just past me. A couple of shots here. 
I did pick up a tail. Did I? So let's try to lose that guy. Couple of sharp turns. Losing some altitude. No, you fighter a very tempting target, but no. That's the ground strike mission, so let's focus on the on the actual bombers. So the Hankel 111. <coughs> I'm trying to dodge here the the enemy anti-aircraft fire. And let's go after this Hankel. If you could hit from the <laughs> enemy artillery on me. Can I kill him before I need to break off? Okay, couple of shots. Yep, he's down. Next target, the Yonker 88. He's too cl well, he's close, but let me just check my six. No, no one there. I'm and I'm reloaded, so I can go after this Yonker. Or maybe not. SBD Luke. SB Luke more tasty and I will get a shot at the Yanker maybe later and I will go back from the dive here so diving after him and I do pick up a tail well that guy probably think that I will be going straight after after the SB but I hate to spoil his fun Okay, okay, couple of shots, couple of shots. Can I kill him? No. He pulled away. I pulled back. But I do have my chance now. Can I kill him? Yes, his engine is on fire. Well, this fuel tank is, is damaged, so the engine on fire, second engine down. So that's just the matter of seconds when he will be destroyed. Okay, and how about that Yanker 88? He did manage to get quite far from me. And uh, yeah, A5 and 4. Couple of guys there, but they are occupied with our fighters. So let's not allow this Yanker to drop his bombs onto our, our base. Can I kill him in time? Yeah! Fuel tank damage, and he's down. Okay, I do only need to pick up some speed right now. Okay, A5 M4. My next target. Can I kill him? Putting shots into him. Putting shots. No, he pulled back. In the way. Let me do exactly the same thing. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's in the back. Okay. Okay, let's chase after him. No immediate threats to me right in here. And those Japanese circles are pretty hard to kill. Okay, couple of shots. Nope, nope. I did miss them. Okay, what do we have here? S S79. Well, he's a bomber. My priority target right now. Okay, start hitting them. Okay, first threat. Okay, what did I damage? The the yeah, the old tank. Okay, he's dropping a bombs very low. Let's hope he will destroy himself. Yep. He did manage to blow himself up, but I did get a credit because uh, well maybe my damage was the critical at that at that point. And I'm leading the board. Five kills, no aircraft destroyed. Well, I didn't lose any aircraft, so I killed five of them. But after so lucky start, I can feel something bad is going to happen to me right about now. Well, I would probably make some stupid, stupid decision and kill myself in the process of doing it. But for now, I do like the score, and let's try to to keep with up well keep up with it <coughs> okay what do we have here well the better part of the team is here see what 
what we can do about this. Okay, D4. Okay, I'm gonna switch to D4. I'm going down there. It won't give us any advantage, so. And there uh, are, well, one, two, three, four, four guys down there. No. That's way too much for one Katie Hawk to handle. Okay, let's take out this Q4, or at least try to take him down. He's going to the dive. This A6 M2 is on his tail. And the BF109, I believe, is closing in on him too. So that will make three of us going after one target. Well, I'm already into the dive, so I won't resign that easily from it. And let's see. Couple of shots, couple of shots. Can I do something about him? Can I kill him? Oh, it's close, too close, too close. Let's pull back. I don't like to be in the, well, my own team firing. But I was lucky here. Okay, and someone else kill him. Well, I do take a couple of risks here. Going through my uh, my team fire, but luckily enough, the aim was good, and I was able to dodge most of the bullets. So okay, most of the enemy team is here. Okay, I fifty three here, and no, I will be able to kill them anyway. So. Okay, those two guys in the, the Huracan and the BF-109. They are going after our Henkel. Okay, can I do something to this BF-109? And critical speed? No, no, but I can chase after him. With some rolling, getting some speed and getting on his tail. Be a good idea. Too many of them down there. Way too many of them down there. Okay. Let's pick up another target. Hurricane. Ooh, tasty. Tasty enough to to going to be going after him. And no one in the immediate threat to me. So let's take this hurricane. Shots here, yeah, okay, hit. Come on, get me some critical hits onto his wings. Yep! The critical hit I just saw his wing off. Fighter rescue in the process. Okay, another hurricane in here. Can I kill him? Can I kill him? Can I out no, I won't be able to outturn him. So let's do let's turn and let's go after him again. Okay, can I? Yep, dead engine. Dead engine to my friend in Hurricane. Okay, going after this Spitfire. Or maybe, maybe not. That will be out much, and I do think I will. I just pick up a tail. Yep. Always remember when you are dodging. Try to make your flight as unpredictable as you can. Okay, the guy just break off. So probably he couldn't keep up with me. I did pick up some good speed. Okay, seven kills with no loss on my part. Well, that's that's a good thing. That's a good game. Although my hull is start looking bad. Well, it's a it's a reddish. So it's not a good thing. Okay, okay. Spitfire, BFs, SU2, oh, SU2. Mm. Okay, I will go after SU2. Oh, I will try to kill him. There's just a couple of ground targets left in here, so. No, just a hit, just a hit. Oh, oh, crap, oh, crap. BF-109 and the Spitfire. Mm. I'm doomed. Okay, Spitfire just opened up on me. I'm waiting for the BF-109. Trying to dodge it. No. 
Okay. Seven kills with one aircraft is, well, let's say, more than enough, more than I expected. So let's go with the premium K61 IE. Let's go with that and see how well we can do in it. Well, it's a pretty similar aircraft to, to P-40, to Kitty Hawk. It has uh, loads of machine, gun, machine guns. It's, uh, it is maneuvering better, but don't have the speed advantage uh, that the Kitty Hawk have over it. So... Well, I don't have a good feeling about this group of enemies here. Okay, okay. Hanko 112. Let me try outrun him. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. He's pulling away, so let's chase after him. Okay, there's also a BF-109, but I cannot allow this ankle to get on my tail. The thing with the Japanese aircrafts is that they are made of the paper. Yeah, it is a critical hit to end the cooling system, so he is screwed, but he is dead anyway. I am the bomber rescuer in the process. Okay. Okay. BF-109s. Okay, one BF-109, I will get an assist. Let's try to get this one. No. Ah, my fault. Or his fault. I really don't know, but I know that this was my fault not to break sooner. And now I'm down. Well, the other guy is down too, but we didn't get, well, I didn't get the credit for it. Okay. Everyone in that game needs some support. Oh, Catalina. Oh, Catalina is down. Okay. And I'm on the eight kills with uh, my second, well, my third aircraft here. And they are down to just one less ground target, I believe. And we are down to like two or three ground targets. So let's not not make it uh, the enemy team the easy kills on those targets. So okay, Ki-61. Okay, just a hit, just nothing more. I won't be risking it. Well, right now I'm just considering if I just should uh, jump off my pr uh, my aircraft and uh, switch to the bomber. Okay, good shots on this Hankel. Maybe I'll try to get one last kill. Nope, it won't be possible. They just shoot my wings up. So yeah, my plan on in going to for the bomber just. Just what I should be doing. Okay, BF109 kill me. Okay. So let's take the Avenger and let's avenge. Avenge or no, avenge my team by winning the game. Or trying to win the game. Yeah, there is one last pillbox over there which needs to die. Okay. Okay. You can do it. There is also some bomber in the front. So I don't see that much of the enemies. And what's there? The D3? D3 A1 is trying to destroy the pillbox. Well, I do hope he will succeed. Okay, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. I will just try to hide in the clouds for now. I don't know if he succeeded in the destroying the pillbox. Because I didn't see on what the altitude he was to drop his bombs. Okay. 
Then the guy that shoot out, uh, shot the friendly aircraft in the beginning of the game is now destroying our own well field. And the aircraft cannons over it. Okay, but we have the ME410. Well, yeah. He did finish off the pillbox. So the good game for us. Okay, let's see on the credits and the experience. Well, on the scoreboard, I am second. Well, nothing special here. But on the credits and experience, well, 38,000 credits, 30,000 experience, and the fighter award. That ain't so bad. Really, that ain't so bad. I think so. But the fighter award, yeah. That's something to go for. So, now my aircrafts need, need some repair. I did list three of them. So that will give me some, some time, but as you can see I didn't pay a single penny for the repairs as I did turn off the automatic repairs off, so all that money will go for me. Okay guys, so thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in. I will now switch to my British Air Force and try to get some, uh, some other games. But anyway, thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in, like the video if you like it. Uh, remember to subscribe to my channel there is the so well subscription if you do like it if you do like the videos and you would like to see more of them in the future in the new future uh, and yeah that would be it for today thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and see you next time iron rifle out <laughs>